Hey, it is your buddy, Peace and Harmony, with you here today. Much love going out to all the beautiful, empowered harmonizers. We are zooming in and focusing in on a great viewer question, and that is how does a female psychopath really get a hold of you? Or really, I mean, we can just talk about this as it relates to psychopathy in general. How do they get control? How do they create this sort of addiction of manipulation, oftentimes into a very unpleasant uh, state, but that people seek um, again and again, even evidence to the contrary, that it's unhealthy for them, um, they are losing friends, they might be losing their property, they might be losing their business, they might be losing their job, you know, they're losing touch with their family or their regular, you know, value or support system. And this person seems to sort of take the place and overwhelm their thought patterns. Realize that a psychopath will break one down by um, an ability to cause um, a, a thinking process in their target so that they are thinking about them all the time. They, they, they get sort of this upper hand or create this hook um, in a very much of an empiric, um, you know, bloodletting, almost as if they can just sort of, um, in a very empiric way, sort of pull your energy, um, which is really where your energy goes, you know, where your focus goes, energy goes, so that you must always be focused or thinking about them. Um, and so that you can't really have some sort of time alone, time to regroup, time to analyze maybe something that happened, so that you're constantly, that they sort of trump your feeling process and really sort of hijack the the inner gears of what you focus on how you feel and your i am which means what you identify with people then become take up i would say with a, a rapid identification with this individual as their leader as the mo as the one who's in control as the one that they want as the champion as the whoever herald whoever shepherds whoever is the ringleader, I mean, whatever it is, you know, this per person takes a very dominating aspect of your life. Um, and a lot of people, um, this sort of replaces their I am. It replaces their own functionality. It replaces their own sensibility, their own ability to hold a sense of self that is not fear-based, that is not based on being manipulated that then becomes, you know, based on people pleasing and an external locus of control versus having internal strength. <clears throat> so if a psychopath can create a way for you to constantly be thinking about them all the time, um, perhaps they can do this through being competitive. Try to beat me. Um, it can be through humor. Uh, try to outsmart me. It might be through hypersexual arousal. You know, try extracting or removing yourself from this attraction or this feeling of being love bombed, of being hyper aroused, of, you know, through maybe they're very good looking, they have a very good build. Oftentimes these individuals have a higher uh, incidence or preponderance of testosterone than the, the bulk of society. This goes for females as well. You can study the literature. So, you know, someone who is test, has a lot of testosterone, you know, might have a lot of energy though. They might, you know, they might have a lot of drive. It puts them into over gear. You know, it, it causes them, you know, you're on gear one, they're on fifth gear all the time. I mean, oftentimes people's gears cannot keep up with them or live the same way. Go out as frequently as they do. Keep the type of lifestyle. Um, juggle relationships. Juggle jobs. I mean, literally, they will have these relationships like balls in the air. And where most people would not have an ability to juggle, these people do this with ease. And a lot of people get then fascinated. Um, they get into a, a deer in a headlight, just sort of dazed and confused state. They might... This person that might become um, like a savior or a good role model or a mentor for them because of this, their inability to be disturbed, their inability to be fearful, their inability to sort of get stressed. 
um, you know, they might blow a gasket, they might engage in psychopathic rage, um, but then it's uh, the, the likelihood that they, this is a state that then they forget about 10, 15, 20, half an hour later, where most people would be like, um, I cannot believe we just had that blowout. You know, why do you want to go get ice cream right now? Or why are we still going out? Or, you know, does, isn't this grounds for our relationship being dismissed? The psychopath will just kind of be like, as if it never happened. It's a very uncanny and weird thing. Um, they just don't learn. Um, so they manipulate, you know, through this constantly thinking about them all the time, which means they, they, they will break down your usual routine, when you should be focusing on work, when you should be taking care of your kids, when you should be working out, um, when you should be um, taking, you know, engaging in self-care, um, going to your own doctor's appointments, um, working on your own job, saving your own 401k, um, you know, all these different things. They sort of shred it up and plant their own driving mechanisms within. It becomes a, a an ability for you it really creates a sort of self abandonment um, where they replace the psychopath's need for attention so that the, the, their target does not have an ability to focus on what they need to focus on. So, you know, given, you know, your time of life um, and your age, and if you're a male or a female, and then the capacity of this relationship, how many of you can say, I, I, this, I encountered this. Um, there were, I had an inability to be able to focus. Um, this other feeling became more important. Um, their, you know, satisfying them or always being available for them became more important than being available for other people. Um, other things that I should be focusing on at my job, in my life, in my relationships, in my um, finances, in my spirituality, in my health and fitness in my ability to travel or, you know, get the most out of life, develop my hobbies and skills. So it, it becomes like a, a replacement, you know, for all that strength. It becomes very vampiric, meaning there's a removal of your energy and especially your ability to think about what you're thinking about. It becomes what you might feel that you're swept up like a gone with the wind moment that you're this person swept you off of your feet uh this all of a sudden you know butter you were living in the butterfly kingdom of love with this individual or butterfly kingdom of business or wherever it is you've encountered this individual but if they can break you down so that they they um you can't stop thinking about them do you see how this becomes a very welcome state especially people who are targeted when they're very lonely uh, they're missing companionship, they're missing or feel unlovable um, or unlikable or unrelatable. So they're, they will fill in these gaps and these holes in others very much like a Swiss cheese becoming solid. They will fill it in. Um, so you'll, you'll have to kind of understand for yourself in your own unique situation, how did this feel good, feel good, so good for you? In other words, what was what what need what void was was being filled and then caused you to replace your personal strength for sort of being swept away by this person and usually it's in the name of love or name of you know you think that this is the right thing to do or this won't come along again this person i will never um, see anyone like this this person is so unlike anyone i've ever met um and, you know, people become very hooked or unwilling or really unable to let go. They lose the rationality. They become brainwashed. They become gaslighted. They begin to conform to the needs and wishes and manipulation of this individual and of, often do this um, in, in, in sort of a, a welcoming manner, um, meaning that they will do this, um, meaning they will just, they will select this as a way of life, this sort of being manipulated, this sort of, they, they feel that they're in a fantasy land. Um, this is what love is like in the movies. Uh, this is, they are comparing it to this very sort of o o oceanic um, type of feeling that they can't or don't want to leave. They don't want to get rid of because they are so 
sort of jacked up. They are sort of under the manipulation of this energy which they get addicted to. So people become very addicted, meaning this person is irreplaceable or I have to be with them. This is what I look forward to. No one else can I do this with. Whatever escapades you were involved in, it would oftentimes become a, a non- type of relationship. You you cannot compare this to others. There, this relationship cannot be compared. Oftentimes because it is so very different. It is You will not find most people engaging in this sort of level of deep manipulation of others just really for the purpose of being able to have control and power over them. They have an insatiable need for this and this is, you know, people are kind of like their external lung. They sort of breathe through others, if you will, through taking them on as targets. They are able to get wherever it is that they want to get, meaning that this offsets their boundary. Uh, this offsets their boredom. This uh, offsets their, you know, their feeling of, of not being attended to. Say they have a constant need for attention. A psychopath will tell you that they need others. They need others to really to sort of prop themselves up with and to get wherever it is that they want to go. It's not, oh, it's not based on money. It's not oftentimes based on what you would think it would be based on. They just want you to be able to be in a constant triggered state where you'll always, where they can always come in and break you down. It, it, I think it gives them a feeling of victory and a feeling of, accomplishment, that this is what gives them a, a feeling of reward. This is just what they do. This is how they go about their life. And oftentimes people have st stuffed it so far down that they can't recognize this feared state, this fearful state as um, uncomfortable. It becomes all pervasive that they're just afraid or hyper aroused all the time. They're ready to be ready for the psychopath. They're ready for that hyper arousal. They're ready for that hook. They're ready for that fix. They're ready for that um, validation from them, that look that lets them know where they are. So people sort of feel that they know where they are in the eye contact of this individual, that it's putting them on the map, but it's really taking you off of the map. It's a very insidious type of control where people lose their ability to sort of navigate their own journey and to their best interest and their ultimate success, their prosperity, their professional development, what is truly beneficial for you, what, what truly makes you happy. People get, they get severed or disconnected from this strength, this ability and strength of serenity. They no longer know their own personal strength anymore. They are replacing it with the strength of being dominated and addicted by this other. So they might get some reward, but the reward does not balance or does not offset the damage or destruction. It is not a, a fair deal. It is not a good deal. <laughs> you know, what you gain is not worth what you pay what you lose in terms of energy, time, and perspective. People then feel very deflated or where do I begin now? You begin now. You begin in your own body and start realizing that fear and pressure is not painted on your wall, but you, you have to look in your, your immediate surroundings. Is there anything in your very immediate surroundings that is fearful at this time? It's causing fear. So oftentimes it's a self-perpetuated state, which has been rehearsed and rememorized and rewarded. The fear has been rewarded or relieved through that tension where you might have felt that appeasing this person or then, you know, then pacifies this, this feeling. It helps to relieve the tension. So you have to break this cycle and realize I am okay to let go of this fearful state. I am okay to stop being so overwhelmed. The good life is when I relax. I accomplish more when I am in a relaxed state. I have no need to be afraid. I have no need to be addicted. 
I have no need to be dominated. I have no need to be dominated. I have no need to be afraid anymore. I am okay releasing this addiction. I am okay and I understand what is withdrawal and I know that this is just going to help me get to a cleaner state. So you must solidify and you must reaffirm how important it is for you to come back in your own body <clears throat> and stop being sort of that in that hyper aroused or fear state based on this sort of manipulation which is sourced outside of you. You know, reject the source from which it came. You know, that's okay. You can have that back. That fear is yours. That need to break others down, that is yours. That is not my need. I no longer have a need to be broken down. I no longer have a need to be in a state of guilt. I no longer have a need to be in a state of manipulation. I no longer um, relate to the, being manipulated anymore. I no longer relate to or fall for that. I, I, I am able to see things differently now. I am safe seeing things differently and so it is. And it is okay. I will go unchallenged. I am safe away from this fear and that is okay. And so it is. And I am complete. I am complete within. And I see now, looking back, why I was so under the control of this individual. I understand now how they manipulated and distracted my attention. I understand how this was created now and I create my thoughts. I create my feelings. I create my thoughts. I create my I am. I create my own health. I create my happiness. I create my serenity and I, a serene heart is a serene life. An empowered heart is an empowered life. And it's okay for me to let go of the flawed thinking in the flawed feeling and then the misperception that was created by this fear or being broken down. I now take ownership for that. I can now see things more clearly and I am so grateful for being able to see clearly now. These are the, um, the profound states that you really need to go deep within and be okay. I am a conscious and aware of this now. I'm conscious and aware of the manipulation now and I no longer fall over. I remain, you know, standing tall. I, I, you know, I no longer buckle. I no longer feel myself contract out of fear. That, that behavior repertoire is gone. I'm sorry, I have a hay fever. Oh my gosh, my nose. I no longer stuff down this fear. I now stuff down happiness. I now kick into strength. I now kick into my strength. And so it is. And my love is, and my, my strength is what I, I love to be strong. I love to be strong. My, my strength is gentle. My strength is okay to be a different type of strength than this manipulator. My strength will serve me well through all of my days. And my, my strength is unable to be touched or adulterated or dis, disempowered by the reach of this individual. This is untouchable. My strength is untouchable. My, my strength is untouchable within me. It is and it, it is there and it lives within me and it cannot be disturbed. This is my strength. It lives and breathes within me and so it is. And I attract more energy that builds up this strength and that is my strength of character and so it is this is right this is what is right this is what is called for my presence is called for my strength of presence is called for and so it is and it will not be marred or made dirty by the manipulation of fear it will not be tarnished by fear it will not be tainted by fear or manipulation from those who seek to dominate, control, and really create a, an emotional constipation within me. I mean, your I am should be like an emotional laxative. You should be able to get it all out. Do not keep, do not allow 
this person to take up rent in your heart, in your mind, in your thoughts. Don't allow it. You know, be able to cook, kick, cook them out. You know, kick them out. You know, evict the fear. Just get it out. You know, fear has no place here. It is too expensive. You know, fear cannot live here anymore. And so it is. Namaste. This is your buddy. Peace and harmony with you here today. And I hope that these videos do help. Please share, please subscribe, and for goodness sake, please donate for more great tools, videos, discussion, and support. And you can, it's okay to be underwhelmed by them. You know, be underwhelmed. Don't be overwhelmed. Be underwhelmed. It is okay to let go of the fear. You will be okay. You are okay. You are strong. You are strength. You are. I am. Say it right now. I am. I am. I am strong. I am happy. I am jubilant. I am powerful. And I love joy. And so it is. And I will build this health and this, this shine within my days for the rest of my moments, for the rest of my days. And I will do it now. Even if I slip up, even if I forget, I will get back on my happy train. And so it is. Have a beautiful day.